So this is the device, and um, we'll take a quick look around it. So on the top we have a power slash lock button. We have a lanyard strap, so you can put a lanyard in and just type it on there. On the back we have like a... Well, so this red bit is like rubber around it, and this is like a matte plastic sort of a thing. So we have the branding Gogia RE G8 four gigabytes, and then there's like serial numbers and stuff below. I don't think we can zoom in on that, but so on the bottom we've got um, the larger style micro USB ports so the older one reset button so you just get a ball pen and just stick that in there and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so we have the screen up here the LCD display which is not touch screen because that's why I've got the buttons it's very small by the way so it's hard to show but not very big we have a menu button and a back button and they're quite clicky a play and pause button and then four directional buttons and Philips branding on the side so when we turn it on got Philips and I'll just show you that again so that's what happens when you turn it off but let's get a bit closer so you've got a website to go to for assistance I suppose so this is the interface we have music fold view and settings <coughs> so we have all songs artists albums genres playlists and audiobooks so on all songs shows you so there's a shuffle all and on your songs in alphabetical order. If you hold the bottom one down, you'll go through an alphabetical thing. So it doesn't have a speaker on it, obviously, so you have to plug a thing in for it to play. So this is the interface. So as you can see, here we have a bar telling you how far we are through the song. It tells you how long the song is and how far you've played through it and then there we have play and pause and here we have the artist which shows us that it's Keen, this one and then the album and that so the title of the song at the top so then here we have we tell you which, it tells you which track it is from the album so this is 29 Oh, this is out of all the songs, so 29 out of 405. So then we have, this tells me that repeat's on, and shuffle is on, which happens when you go onto all songs. And we have a 75% battery life. Battery life's actually extremely good on this. Uh, the weekend I went away, and it took me about, <coughs> I had... I must have used it for about five hours over the course of the thing, and it didn't go down by 25%, or it went down by about 25%, so you don't need to worry about battery life. So this button skips to the next song, that one obviously goes back. We have volume control. I have set a max volume on this because it can go quite loud. So there's up to 30, which is quite nice because there's a wide range of volumes you can go to. We have the menu button, which has different options. You can delete it, there's a sleep timer, add it to a playlist. So you can change the volume limit and there's also an equaliser just for what the type of music that you're listening to and just go back and get back onto here 
the back button takes you out, but the music will continue to play. It's gone artists, it'll just show you all the artists you've got. Obviously albums the same. It automatically puts them into um, genres it thinks are appropriate. Some of them aren't, but... So now we're going to folder view. So it's basically th just the same, but slightly different, as it's just in a folder. And on to settings. We've got play mode, which you can turn shuffle and repeat off, like that. Sound settings, which is the equaliser, again. And sleep time and display settings. So you can actually choose a colour. So there's green, grey, pink. Pink sort of fits this MP this version. And red. So you can leave it on green. Might be hard to see the colours on the camera. And then a backlight timer. I've got mine on 15 seconds, but you can change it between 30, 45 and always on. But obviously, depending on what you do here, it'll change the battery life, or how long the battery will last. We have language, which is just what you'd expect. And information, so this tells you... So these are all the files that are supported. I just want to say... So audio quality obviously is whatever of these files you put on it. Is that how good it is? So there's um M sec MP3 WMA WAV APE FLAC AA or AAX files and it tells you disk space. As you can see here, I've got 405 songs, and I've used, I've got uh, one and a quarter gigs remaining, so it can hold quite a lot of songs, probably maybe 700 around that area, uh, and basically, so there is a thing called Philips Songbird, that you can put them on or you can just find the file on your computer and just find it that way which you might think is a bit easier but I don't know so that's the interface the screen's not massive but it's plenty big enough to be able to see as you can see it is laid back a bit behind the front panel and the device is curved like that so it fits on in your hand or around your neck 